The WikiLeaks chief, Julian Assange, has been severed from his key lifeline of the Internet in what is being called an intentional state act. That is according to a post on the organization's official Twitter page. That the web is one of the links Assange has to the wider world, considering he's been holed up inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London for more than four years. Let's cross live now to RT's Polly Boyka for more details. Uh, on this story here, uh, Polly, good to see you today. An unexpected development considering how long he's been stuck inside the embassy. What more do we know? Yeah, that's right. Julian Assange's internet is down. And considering he has been stuck inside this building for over four years now, you can understand that the internet for him, it's not just very important for his work as editor of WikiLeaks, it's also a vital lifeline, his only link really to the outside world. But a few hours ago, the official WikiLeaks Twitter account uh, wrote a message saying that Julian Assange's internet link has been intentionally severed by what they said was a state party. And they also said we have activated appropriate contingency plans. Now, RT have got in touch with the Ecuadorian embassy to find out whether this is an ongoing issue. Uh, they haven't yet responded to us. So the details of how the in internet went down and whether or not it was in fact the work of a state player, they are still unclear. But if it is indeed a state party, then um, well, there's a pretty big pool of potential candidates to choose from, considering how many uncomfortable truths WikiLeaks as an organization have released uh, over the past few years. There are lots of people and players that would probably like to see Julian Assange go offline once and for all. Um, now, over the past six months, WikiLeaks have been playing a big role in the U.S. president presidential elections, especially uh, by releasing the emails relating to Hillary Clinton's campaign, um, and especially those Podesta leaks, which contain quite a few embarrassing facts about the Democratic presidential uh, nominee's uh, campaign. We've seen things like uh, information about Hillary Clinton's paid speeches to banks like Goldman Sachs. We've seen information that Hillary Clinton wants to defend fracking, and has called climate change campaigners, um, saying that they should, quote, get a life, uh, information uh, suggesting that uh, she has a very cozy relationship with the mainstream media in the U.S., um, revelations that her campaign uh, was collecting information to try and discredit the woman that's accused Bill Clinton of raping her back in 1978, and also suggestions that Bernie Sanders was under pressure and perhaps even paid to support Hillary Clinton. So if this was indeed the work of a state player or if it was indeed the work of uh, Hillary Clinton, then perhaps uh, putting Julian Assange offline, uh, leaving him with no internet, is still a less drastic measure than, quote, just droning the guy. Uh, take a look at this. WikiLeaks has dropped another bomb on Clinton. Apparently, she wanted to drop a bomb on Julian Assange. Their sources quote Mrs. Secretary as saying, can we just drone this guy? Drone this guy? She would never say that. It doesn't even sound like her. He came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> if I'm the president, we will attack Iran. And it's not like anybody from Clinton's team would ever say anything like that either. We got special ops forces. I mean, a, a dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor, a treasonous, illegally shoot the son of a but she's way better than Trump. And she's a she, a woman, the first woman president. That should be enough. Okay, I give up. She probably might have wanted to kill someone for telling the truth. 